Hi everyone, this is Medo Jasa and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about my first time experience shopping on ASOS. And if you are planning to shop on ASOS, I hope this video helps you in some way or the other. So when you go to their website and you go under customer care, delivery, there's a question saying, how are custom charges applied for parcels being sent to India? ASOS has no control over these charges and we can't tell you what the cost would be as customs policies and import duties vary widely from country to country. So there's not a lot of information here about how much you would be charged and how much you have to pay. So my friend and I, we ordered two shoes and two earrings from ASOS. A week after we placed our order, I got an email from this company called Skynet Worldwide Express. The email say that I have to pay custom charges up to 80%. When I saw that email, I was like, no, no, no. There's no way that I am going to pay another 80% extra. So Skynet is this third party courier service which handles international shipping and everything. So I told them that I told Skynet Worldwide Express that I want to cancel my order and they said no we cannot cancel your order because your parcel came from the UK. If we have to send it back we have to pay double the custom charges again. So we have to either destroy the package here in India or do something else with it. Thank God the charges were not 80%, they were about 60%, which is still very high, but they were like, uh, we can guarantee a refund from ASOS, so it's better you pay the customs and get your parcel. A month later, we were both super excited to open our parcel until this happened. <sighs> This is the box that we received from ASOS. Empty. It was empty. One empty box. Second empty box. There's nothing here. My friend's shoes were missing. One of my earrings were missing as well. So, yep. That's my first time experience on ASOS for you. <laughs> Although I did get my shoes. I did get the shoes I want, which I'll show you. I was so lucky because I got my shoes. And uh, these are the shoes I got. They're definitely not made from the best quality materials, but it'll do, it's okay. They're from ASOS, but they're from a brand called Public Desire. They're pretty comfortable and they're really, I think they're really pretty as well. Comfort wise, design wise, I will give it a 9 out of 10. But quality wise, it's definitely a 5 out of 10. <laughs> so the funny thing about this experience was, uh, so when you order from ASOS, it comes in a package like this. This is the original packaging. This is the original ASOS packaging. My shoes came in this plastic, but the empty box came in this plastic, this poorly stitched plastic. I mean, who even stitches a package like this? I don't know. This package I received from Digital Courier and Cargo. I don't know who these people are. This is not. Skynet. So this is definitely from the people who stole my friend's shoes and my earrings. I tried calling up the number but it says it doesn't exist. Couldn't do anything else about it. But uh, <sighs> Let's have a look at this package again. I, 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 uh, I just cannot. But the thing about ASOS is that they have really, really good customer service. When I received an empty box, I emailed them and they issued the refund almost immediately. Of course, we got a refund for our shoes and earrings, but we didn't get a refund for the customs tax that we had to pay. I tried calling Skynet several times and they told me that they are still trying to search for our missing orders, which I don't believe. They just keep saying that over and over again. I really wish that they handled this well. They have really bad customer service as well. Their customer service suck. 
I mean, of course they were very polite in replying to my messages and my emails and my calls and they always say, okay, we'll help you out, we'll help you out now, we'll help you out with whatever you, we can. At the end of the day, I don't think that they will because this is just something very small to them. It may be something big for us, but it's something that's very small for them. So I don't believe them when they say they are still looking for our missing things. So in conclusion, Will I ever shop from ASOS again? Uh, I might. I really want to. I really want to shop from ASOS again. But um, the thing is, the problem is with the delivery services here in India and the people who handle the international shipping. I don't know. I don't know how they got so careless. But no matter how angry we both are, there's nothing else we can do about it. So yeah. So yeah. That was my first experience with ASOS, which then. Uh, go pretty well if you thought that this video was helpful for you do like my video and subscribe to my channel until then bye